Hey, mister. Wait a second, are you? Are you a cop? No. No, I am not a cop. If I let you in here, and a bunch of cops rush in, yes. I'm gonna stab you in the face. You know what that feels like? No. No. But I assure you, you will not need to go to those lengths. All right, five minutes. No Jesus Comprende? Yes. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Hey, Ricardo. Hey, Robbie. <laughs> this nice. is a luxurious suite, don't you think? Yeah. That Oldenburg Film Festival is putting me up in. It's nice to have you as a guest, and, you know, we can start the interview now. Okay. <laughs> Tell me, what was your inspiration? Well, my inspiration for my movie was my mother. She, uh, she's a Texas woman, she's a housewife, yeah. and I'd always wanted to do a movie about a woman like her. Um, and then my stepfather was dying, and I kind of came up with the story off, off of that. <laughs> How much time did it take to write the script, to develop the script? How much time um, did it take It you? took, uh, <laughs> this is funny, it took um, probably six months to write and develop it, to kind of go through all the rewrites and all that stuff. Yeah, it was, a, it was a long process, but... And then, did you start filming it um, exactly afterwards? Or no, no, no. How, how it, was this? It took, me, it took me like five years to, for, you know, we started raising a lot of money, um, and then, and then the, the, financial collapse happened in America and uh, and so we couldn't get the budget that we wanted so we kept cutting the budget we kept making it lower um, and uh, finally we had to make it for very very little money but we had that money so we just decided to do it and that was five years later um, you know it was a lot of rejection and and people not wanting to give me money and and stuff was saying they're gonna give me money and don't give me money So we finally had to just raise the money with friends and family How did you do your job as a director? Like how did you work on set? I think directing is I, I'm very I do a lot of preparation with the cameraman and the production designer and all that before the movie. So when I get on set, I don't they know what I want and I don't I'm just basically only working with the actors. And so with the actors, we didn't get any rehearsal on this movie and so it was 18 days um of shooting with no rehearsal so the actors had to be had to have all the attention from me I, we really didn't have any time for me to be telling the cameraman where what shots we need stuff like that um, so I was just really focused on them and I don't call cut I, I said that last night in Q&A I don't call cut um, because I like to wear the actors out I like to them to be exhausted and not thinking um, and on digital, you don't have to call cut. Um, but I'm pretty nice as a director, I think. Maybe my producers would disagree, but I think I'm pretty nice and pretty fun and all that. But, but I'm definitely very into the movie, and I, I really um, have a lot of energy when I'm directing. Right now, I've made a good movie, and I'm relaxing in a bed with you, right? Yeah. But on set, I ha I'd be running around and stuff like that, but look, this is luxurious. We're both very successful people. You run a successful yeah. YouTube channel. You're right. I have right. a successful festival film. Why not enjoy the fruits of our labor, huh? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I think I don't want to work. Well, we should finish the interview. Just the last question. Okay. Um... Linda, she comes from a very religious um, community. Uh -huh. Did you get any feedback of religious Christians to your film? Yeah, you know what's funny? Um, you'd think some 
people like that would be offended, right? But they're not really. The 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 my mom's church saw it. My mom saw it. Um, you know, I've shown it in the Midwest where these people are from. I've shown it to people like that, and I've rarely heard complaints because I think when they watch the movie. Um, they know there are certain things in the movie that they know I'm from that place and that I really know that place and I'm not just from New York or LA and making fun of them. I'm really from that place. I really know those people. I really grew up with those people. In fact, the only people who are usually offended by the movie are people who have nothing to do with religious people. They're usually people, you know, bloggers or something that think I'm making fun of Christian people only, you know, and I am making fun of Christian people a little, but I'm also, I, I love those people and I grew up with them and the, those are my parents and my, my friends and family. So, you know, I'm making fun of them like you would make fun of anybody, just just a little, but I also, I also hope that what comes across <clears throat> in the movie, especially to Christian people, is that I understand these characters and taste, take them seriously, even though I do see funny things about them. But I see, you see funny things about anybody you like. Yeah, exactly. You know? I mean, I'm sure if you, where are you from? I'm from the north of Germany. Right, there are a lot of funny people here, right? Yeah, so I'm sure if you, I'm sure if lot. you did a movie about people from the north of Germany, you'd be making fun of them, but you also understand them. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, and I think Christian movies are bad when they, when they do, when they only make fun of them or only make them like sacred you know like movies about people are always best when they're making fun of the people but also understanding them they're in the middle you know and were you surprised by the positive feedback of the questions uh, were you a bit like afraid if it's if it's not going to yes well i mean if if you if you made a movie about northern germany or if somebody's Somebody's from, you know, uh, you know, Venezuela, some place in Venezuela, and they're making pe a movie about people from there. Or Spike Lee making movies about people in Brooklyn, or Alexander Payne making movies about people in um, in uh, Omaha. You're always afraid of what those people might think because those are the, those are the people to me that are most important. When they say they like the movie, that means more to me than anything. When my mom, I mean, my mom would like anything I did. But when, when you know, people from where I'm from watch the movie and and they think it's funny and they see the humanity in it, that is the best. So, yeah, it means a lot, you know. So, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the interview. And you know, I'm going to stay in your hotel. Yeah? Yeah, I'm going to it's stay here. It's pretty swanky. It's pretty yeah. nice. Here's a good place. I'm going to stay here. All right. Goodbye, mister. Hey, mister. Goodbye. <laughs>